Hello and welcome back everyone. Now just come and create a database here. Now go just type localhost in your browser php my admin and press enter and you can see this window over here and if it will ask for a password just enter your php my admin password and login and you can see this window over here now just go and create a new table here by click here new your database name uh, my database name is shop here and just click here create database shop has been created now go to your shop table and it is empty here now create a table with the name categories uh, categories and I'm taking two columns in this table now click go here and you have to give the name of first column here uh, which is get underscore id get id and uh, and the type of this get id is integer and just come here and click here a underscore i which is auto increment because when we just uh, add our category to our program so it will increase this with auto increment function now in give this uh, index of a primary key just give it a primary key and come back here and type cat another column name is cat underscore title which is a text or you can say this is a word chart just give an id of 100 and give this you have 100 characters so it will just accept 100 characters in this cat underscore title and 100 numbers and you can just give 100 numbers of word to this cat underscore id column now click save this and it will create a table here like this categories now create another table and give this a name of brands and I'm taking two columns in this table now click here now the first column name is brand underscore ID the second column name is brand underscore title give this a length to 100 and ID is integer and auto increment give it a primary key now come back and give this a word chart and then just click save this here and you have two tables in your shop database here now create another table which is the third table of this program and give a name to this table is just type here products nine columns and click go the first column name is um, uh, product underscore ID the second column name is product underscore category just type CAT for category and the third column is product underscore brand date column here product underscore title now product underscore image this column is for image here now product underscore price here product underscore desc desc for description and product underscore keyword is for the search box we will create a search box on our uh, website so we can just 
search our image or search our product so it will search through your this column here now the first column is product underscore id and this is a primary give this as a primary key and it is auto incremented now the second is an integer just give it a value of length value of 10 product cat is also 10 and this is also integer product brand is also integer give it length of 10 and the date just change this type to uh, timestamp here so it will pick your current date and time from your computer and show into your program give this a hundred product title you can give the length value is 100 the product image is also text and just remove this 100 so it will take uh, automatically the length value and the value is 10 the product description is text and status is the product title you can just give 100 here and this is also 100 just give the product description you can type uh, words till hundreds and product keyword is also text just give it 100 and the last one is status now just put status is 100 now click this save button here and you can see that we have three tables in our shop database here so we create our database uh, with three tables here brand so we are going to create a website whenever a person clicks on brand so it will show the brand and it will fetch the data from your this table into your PHP program like this the cat if you if anyone wants to see the categories or anyone want to insert the categories through your website so it will increase uh, the category and the uh, category title here in your database so we are going to create a dynamic website so that's it for this tutorial and i'll see you guys in the next tutorial